Hi, where are we at right now? We're at Endgame Comics in Ventura, California. Alright, and what do you got for us? I have a deck profile for Diva Zombies. Mm -hmm. My take on Diva Zombies. Mm -hmm. Let's um, go, let's see it. So it's a somewhat standard list. Um, Flip it, get up. Into yeah. it. Monsters, Dark Room Dragon, no explanation. Mm -hmm. Gores, Trag. Um, I like Trag. It's another hand trap. It's a dark. You can banish it for lure. You could force them out by crashing your monsters. and um, Pretty good card in this deck because your hand could be pretty high with all the searching you do, all Goblin Zombie and stuff. So I like that card. Um, two Caius. Um, I do like three, but two in this list because I want to play Ill Blood. I like Ill Blood. I think um, it's a good card. Uh, there's a lot of interesting plays you could do with it. Um, it's really good at making comebacks and uh, generating card advantage and sets up OTKs. It's a pretty good card with a lot of different plays. And then the rest of the zombies, two Pyramid Turtle, uh, just two, didn't have room for the third one. Um, one Mystic Tomato, I do think Pyramid Turtle is better, but Mystic Tomato is a dark. And uh, I want some cards to pitch off of the lure. Uh, some of the cards you don't want to discard, so it's something you could discard. It's another floater, pretty good. Uh, two Golden Zombie, have to play that. Zuki, Plague Spreader, Zombie Master, Spirit Reaper. So that's all zombies. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty standard. And then Double Diva, just two. Um, two is pretty standard in this style of list. Um, um, you, sometimes you do draw into the other, but. Eh, with the uh, plague spreader, how many times you could use it uh, doesn't really feel like you lose one and stuff. And I like two. Mm -hmm. Gale, I like the one Gale. Something you can get off tomato. It's a nice one for one um, that you can search off Sangan. It's good like it by itself under. It's good like it by itself besides uh, Deep Sea Diva where you need another card to use it, so pretty decent. Sangan, and then double Raiko. Um, play the two Raiko. It's not too standard, but I like how you can mix people up when you set monsters in this deck. You set quite a bunch, so sometimes they can't read your sets. I like to hold it for when I need to out stuff or get tempo back or keep tempo. It outs oppression, so and in game two or three, when your deck is being hated out, uh, it makes uh, the deck have like a plan B where you can like Reiko Caius and I think it's a solid card. It has some matchups it's good against. Then a lure, Book of Moon, Book of Life, Two Book of Life, Burial, Foolish, Brain, Mind Control, Heavy, MST, uh, Standard Spell Lineup, Return, Call the Haunted, Trap Dust Ute, Solemn Judgment, Mirror Force, Trentle, gotta play those. Phoenix Wing Blast, just one. Uh, when I did play two, I felt like I would draw into both of them. And sometimes I wouldn't have a good discard, and I'd have to discard a real card, and my hand would go low. So I like the one, it's nice when you see it, but I just hated seeing more than one in a game. And double bottomless, I like two. It's kind of just always having bottomless is nice, and I don't have to side the other. Uh, 40 cards. Perfect. So, want to do your side? Okay, so. Let's do the extra deck first. Oh, extra deck first. Um, so, Armory Arm, because we played the Raiko. The Armory Arm OTK can come up in this deck. Armory Arm's pretty decent by itself, just play it because we sometimes can't play it, so. Might as well run it. Catastor, 
Android. I've seen some decks cut Android now, but I think it's pretty good. Level fives do come up in this list, and there's some decks that can cast or doesn't do anything too, so I like the Android. The sixes, Bryonic, Goyo, Revive King Hades, Gaia Knight. So that's all for sixes. I'm not playing Doom Kaiser Dragon because of space. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like these ones were more important. I feel like Doom Kaiser doesn't really come up that much. I, um, its requirements are kind of strict, and you're, I felt like I never had Plague Slayer and another zombie while my opponent had a zombie. And Zombie Master and Ill Blood kind of do the same thing as that card. And I so I play Guy Knight. Uh, I feel like you need this card because of Diva and. You need two generic level sixes. I also don't like to sit on board with these two without protection because sometimes your opponent can have brain control and blow you out. So it's a nice option so you don't lose to brain control. And sevens, Black Rose, uh, Armor Master, because the Gale, it's pretty nice to half the attack of a monster and then go into Armor Master. Some people play Ancient Fairy, but I think that play is just pretty strong. Definitely comes up play that card mm -hmm. and Stardust gotta play that Fossil Fighter Thought Ruler uh, play around Brain Control and Utter One for once yes so uh, Dark End Dragon gotta play that Mistworm um, chose to kind of play this over Red Dragon Archfiend um, it's kind of just a blowout uh, it can come up if you have like Zombie Master, it can help you make it. Um, but that's good. And then Climeritech, so. Very nice. For the Cyber Dragons, so. That's the. That was this extra, extra deck. deck. Let's go side. And then for the side deck, two Cyber Dragons, two DD Crow. Sroko. It's a new card I put in here, but a lot of people are playing this right now for the Blackwing matchup, so I thought I'd try it out. Um, Kaiku, Fossil Dina, Lightning Vortex, one Dust Radio. This should probably be two, but doing some experimenting. I felt like Sometimes I'll draw MST and Dust Tornado or Heavy Storm and MST and I would have too many cards in my hand for back row destruction. And since I'm playing Ryko, I feel like I can get away with playing one. D Prison, um, some one ofs, Fighting Prisoning Mirror, Skill Drain, and Pulling the Rug. Uh, the reason I played one of each of these is because I feel like they kind of all do the same thing. If I'm siding against Light Sworn, I'll just side in the Skill Drain with the Lighting Prisoning Mirror. And if I'm playing against something like Heroes or um, Monarchs, I would side the Pulling the Rug with the Skill Drain. And it kind of covered up that one last slot I had and made the deck uh, a little more versatile. So I kind of went with this one of thing. So that's my 15 card side deck. Mm -hmm. And are you planning on going anywhere to play pretty soon? Right here. <laughs> Let's go. Have some uh, uh, Edison locals. So. Perfect. Thank you so much. Macho King here, letting you know if you think you have what it takes to bring down the king at all these card games. The cream of the crop always rises to the top.